Contrary to the legitimate concerns of American citizens and the cynical fear-mongering of the Republican Party, Border Patrol is reporting a 50% reduction in illegal crossings since Title 42 was rescinded. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So whether we like it or not, it's no secret that President Biden has struggled to maintain any sort of decent approval rating since August or September 2021 when he made the morally courageous decision to execute the poorly negotiated Trump-Doha agreement with the Taliban for the United States to withdraw from Afghanistan. But the Afghanistan withdrawal isn't the only reason why President Biden has struggled in the polls. One of the other major policy areas that he has struggled with legitimately that most people have struggled with, most administrations, and that Republicans are cynically seizing on, is the situation at the southern border. And to be perfectly candid, there is a situation at the southern border. There is a crisis, a humanitarian crisis, that is primarily endangering, first and foremost, the lives of the migrants and their families trying to cross into the United States illegally. Now, that is, to some extent, the president's responsibility. He is the chief executive of the United States. He's responsible for national security. Um, but this is not a uniquely Biden situation. Republicans would have you believe that the border was perfectly secure during COVID, pre-COVID. It was just wrapped up in a nice little bow, and then Joe Biden comes into office and somehow just sets the whole thing on fire. It's demonstrably not true. We have had issues with the southern border for Republican and Democratic administrations for years now, decades now, including the Trump administration. Now, people will point to the numbers at the southern border during COVID, you know, but I don't think that's exactly a feather in the Trump administration's cap. He mismanaged a pandemic which ran roughshod through the United States, and effectively we had to shut down, and that also deterred people from trying to illegally cross into the country because, of course, they would also be exposing themselves to COVID throughout the journey. And as vaccines went, entered production and became readily available, both in the United States and Mexico and other places, and COVID precautions like masks and testing kits and all these things became available, and the fact that you had more competent leadership eventually take the helm in the form of Joe Biden, it makes sense that as basically the virus became more manageable, more survivable in many respects, um, that people would resume crossing the border. And they have. But when you ask conservatives and Republicans who say the border was under complete control and it was perfectly great and then Joe Biden comes along, you should ask them, what did Joe Biden do to cause the situation at the southern border that you think didn't exist pre-Biden? And they'll scratch their heads because they can't name anything. As we've discussed in previous videos, President Biden's policies, his resources, his manpower, they are virtually identical to what was under the Trump administration. Uh, border Patrol manpower, Border Patrol policies, Border Patrol funding, it's virtually the same, right? But the idea is that simply because the context changed, right, again, COVID became more manageable and people began to resume crossing, um, somehow, again, Biden did something somehow to cause this issue, even though they could never name what it is. That said, it is true that President Biden and Congress, Republican and Democrats, for one reason or another, have struggled to get a handle on this. Um, and so I want to play you a quick clip here from the former president, Donald Trump, who, of course, like every other Republican, has been hitting Joe Biden on this issue. Uh, it's an 11-second clip, and I want you to hear what he has to say, and then we're going to actually dive into a very pertinent recent fact, which should be good news for everybody. The massive invasion of our southern border is unprecedented anywhere in the world. It's absolutely crazy. Thank you, Mr. President. Very insightful. So that was Donald Trump, of course, just offering absolutely no commentary, no suggestions, no um, solutions of any kind. That's his shtick, by the way. He does it with when people ask him about Ukraine, when, when conservative uh, commentators and interviewers are like, oh, golly gee, Mr. President, what would you have done differently about Ukraine? How would you have gotten this under control? Putin would have never dared do anything when you were in charge. So if you were in charge now, what would you do? He's like, he'll always say, well, you know, super complicated. I've got a great, I, listen, I believe you me. I understand war and, and international politics better than anybody. Now, I, I, I would have a plan, but I don't kind of want to want to tell you the plan because then Putin would know the plan. Like he offers nothing but platitudes and buzzwords and filler words like, believe me, tremendous, tremendously, bigly but offers no solutions, same thing with the southern border. Because, of course, you know, <laughs> to whatever success the Trump administration enjoyed at the southern border, Donald Trump played no role in it. But here are the facts. 
since Title 42, which was basically it's um it, it's it's at, it predates COVID. Title 42 was a policy I think it came around in like the mid 40s, uh, pertaining to what Border Patrol um, could do in terms of uh, enforcing borders in the era of communicable diseases. Basically, if there's like you know some sort of plague or like pandemic, what could Border Patrol do to secure the borders or expel illegal migrants? And 42 Title 42 was famously invoked during the pandemic because it basically gave uh, Border Patrol, um, ICE, the Department of Homeland Security under the Trump administration, a blank check to eject migrants um, from the United States back into Mexico and other countries um, by citing COVID as the predicate. Like, oh, hey, <laughs> we're in the middle of a pandemic. People can spread this, this, uh, this disease. We got to get you out of here, right? And until recently, Title 42 which Republicans loved, even as they were trying to get rid of every other COVID-related policy, precaution, or whatever. They hated it. They wanted all mask mandates, vaccines, everything, whatever it is. They want def They were desperate to keep Title 42, just an act of profound hypocrisy. Title 42 was maintained by the Biden administration until recently. So it's gone. And everyone was like, okay, well, now that Title 42 is gone, we're going to see just swarms. We're going to see a Southern invasion. And actually, what Border Patrol is reporting is a 50% drop in the number of migrants crossing the border since Title 42 was rescinded. Now, it's relatively early on. That may change. But that is a drastic decline, a sharp decline that was not expected, certainly by Republicans, but by many other Americans with legitimate concerns. Um, the numbers we've experienced in the past two days are markedly down over what they were at the end to, prior to the end of Title 42. You said there were 6,300 border encounters on Friday and 4,200 on Saturday, but cautioned it was still early in the regime, which again constitutes a 50% reduction um, in um, the uh, illegal contacts at the southern border. Now, this is good. This is a step in the right direction. This is where we like to see those numbers trend downwards. And again, things might change. But just to remind everybody, Donald Trump has no solutions. He's offered, he offers no commentary, no solutions whatsoever. You ask him what, what needs to happen at the southern border, he'll scratch his head because he's not an ideas guy. He's not a policy guy. He's just a mouthpiece, number one. Number two, multiple administrations, Republican and Democrat, including the Trump administration, have struggled to get a hold on the situation at the southern border. This is nothing new. This did not, this did not start with Joe Biden. Number three, COVID played a huge role in the great great border patrol numbers, excuse me, illegal migrant numbers that the Trump administration experienced in its last year in office, okay? The fact that COVID is being better managed under the Biden administration thanks to vaccines, vaccine rollouts, stay at home, or uh, um, uh, uh, booster shots, you know, at home testing, all these things is actually a testament to the Biden administration's competence. Number four, Biden policies, Biden manpower, and Biden resources at the southern border are identical to what was the case under Trump. Number five, conservative critics of Biden can't cite a single policy or a single issue that has meaningfully impacted or, in, or contributed to an increase, rather, contributed to an increase in illegal crossings at the border. They just say, because it's happening, Biden must have done something, even though they can't name what it is. And then six, if you really want to deter people humanely, which we have a responsibility to do, I would argue, from illegally crossing into the country, then we may, as the world's leading superpower, the wealthiest nation in the history of civilization, and a good neighbor, we may want to continue to responsibly invest in other countries uh, so that people don't feel like they have to leave for their safety or the safety of their loved ones or for any sort of prosperity. We might want to invest in uh, South America and other countries as well to help them prosper and to help deter their citizens from leaving. And then the actually six and seven, the last thing I'll say is that under the Biden administration, unlike Donald Trump, he, President Biden has gotten commitments from Mexico to actually contribute financially towards border security, billions of dollars worth, which is billions of dollars more than the Trump administration was able to get out of Biden, uh, Mexico. Excuse me. So that's a success on every front. 